Hi everybody, it's Fung. This video is a shout out to Dr. Cover, who's been killing it lately with the ultrasound. He saw a patient who was chronically ill and came in with this chest x-ray and shortness of breath. Here you can see an obvious radiographic opacity on the right, but the patient had a confusing clinical course and the treating providers weren't sure what type of opacity this was. So what did Cover do? He laid down the ultrasound probe. He obtained anterior and lateral views of the right lower lung fields using the abdominal probe, orienting it longitudinally. He was able to get these great clips fanning uh, through the lung field just above the diaphragm and liver, which you can see on the right of the screen. We know from looking at pneumothoraces, or pulmonary edema, that the ultrasound of the lung is all about looking at the artifacts, namely A and B lines. Seeing these on the ultrasound tells us that there is air in the space immediately deep uh, to where we first see them on the screen. In this still image, we can see the B lines here, and the pleural interface is here. There's uh, air in the lung beyond the B lines, but all the stuff in between here and the pleura that looks like a solid organ or stars in the sky is possibly consolidated lung or lung parenchyma that has collapsed, i.e. atelectasis. This type of image arises because liquid-filled or collapsed alveoli uh, no longer have air in them, and the remaining gas uh, is in the bronchial tree. This produces uh, what are called air bronchograms. On an ultrasound, air bronchograms look like a starry night sky or um, these very hyperechoic dots and lines that we see here. Uh, so how did Cover differentiate a consolidation from atelectasis? He held the probe still, watched the patient breathe, and captured these clips uh, of moving or dynamic air bronchograms. These are produced by a column of air moving through a consolidated lung and indicate a liquid rather than collapsed alveoli. In other words, he was able to diagnose the patient's pneumonia. To review, we see dynamic air bronchograms and consolidations, aka fluid-filled alveoli, and we see static air bronchograms in atelectasis. Keep in mind uh, that you can only see the periphery of the lung with ultrasound, but this is generally where we'll see pathology first. Lung ultrasound has a 60 to 90% sensitivity for pneumonias, depending on the study that you read, but it has better than 95% specificity in pretty much every study. For more information or proof that anyone can do this, check out these two papers. Again, props to Cover on a great scan.